I came to Huntley in September 2012 um, to look at, you know, a town that appeared on the surface at least to have no food culture, you know, all the, the dishes in the hotels and the restaurants and, and, and the things you could buy in the supermarket seemed to reflect in no way the place. And so I created a signature menu for the town, working with all the chefs mm -hmm. and the local people that somehow reflected the town back on itself. And so then it became a question of going to find out um, what did people want to eat and what, what did people feel about food. I was hanging around kitchen doorways in the pubs and cafes and hotels, you know, trying to make relationships with the chefs in the town as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, we created the menu. I, you know, I worked with... Um, some great chefs from around the UK who came and helped develop the menu mm. um, and we had lots of fun kind of gathering pine needles in the forest at Hunt in Huntley to make mm. pine needle syrup and fishing for trout nearby and trying to bring in these local ingredients and then suddenly it was all done and you know and I thought that was that a radio producer heard about what we were doing and said well you know where what what are you doing next with this and at that stage we had no idea so I said well I've no idea and she said well this, this is something that other people should experience. It then went on to become a Radio 4 series called The Town is the Menu, which I presented, and we, and we travelled to five towns around the UK, in Wales, Scotland and in England, uh, to, um, to do the Town is the Menu treatment on other towns mm -hmm. uh, in, in a honed-down format, something that was two days long rather than three months long, but it worked. And... It was wonderful to see that, you know, something that we'd road tested and um, and um, really explored in Huntley, you know, the essence of it could work in quite a simple way anywhere.